Sandwich Marina, a gateway to Cape Cod Canal for over 200 patrons. For some, this is a perfect spot to kick off a vacation. For others, a home base to make a living. In the harbor, the pace is fast. Boats go in and out all day. Fish is caught, unloaded, and packed for delivery. Operated by the town of Sandwich, the marina with its large commercial fishing fleet plays an important role in the town's economy. The central location and variety of amenities are attractive to many patrons. But it wasn't always this way. For decades, a pile-supported shack located at a low elevation at the heart of the harbor had been used as the harbor master's office. The building often flooded during nor'easters, requiring costly renovations. If we ever saw a neap tide or a king tide coming in, we would have to vacate the building for that tide because we couldn't get through the office to the ground there in case of an emergency. Back in the storm of 2015 in January, we didn't prepare thoroughly for the storm. You can see some of the marks from the rust from the water all the way back here, seen on some of the desks. It was clear that this couldn't go on much longer. The building had to be relocated to higher ground. Two seasoned building design teams put their expertise to work to establish the marina as a safe and attractive destination. Coastal engineering and Brown Lindquist Fenucio and Raber Architects reclaimed and transformed the underutilized site into a first-class marina that connects fishermen to the surrounding community, welcomes visitors, and improves coastal resiliency. So far as the aesthetics of the building, obviously they wanted to uh, look at the building from a Cape Cod and New England maritime kind of vernacular, uh, which played a lot into our selection of materials. Uh, sidewall materials are very traditional Cape Cod, New England, uh, white cedar uh, sidewall shingles. The scale of the building, again, is lower. We've got gabled roofs. We've got porch elements. One of the primary factors in siting the building uh, was first, first of all, available land. Uh, the land available around the marina is pretty limited, uh, pretty tight edges around the water itself. So this position was chosen uh, because it not only had a high uh, commanding view over the marina, but it also provided the opportunities to have view over the inlet from Cape Cod Canal. The parking lot that exists here now is very important for uh, revenue generation. They use uh, parking during the season for boat slips, car parking and trailers, and then in the winter they park boats, which generates uh, revenue for the town. So we had to impact that parking as little as possible. Uh, fortunately, there was a often used playground that was in this position previously that we had an opportunity to relocate down closer to the canal uh, without detrimentally impacting the usability of the, the playground. And my children actually enjoyed it better because they get to see the boats drive by. The next aspect of the project was the garage maintenance building. The purpose of the building was really providing an opportunity to store vehicles during the winter, but also provide a place out of the elements where they could work on uh, winter projects. We had an opportunity to locate the building in an existing curb cut that was seldom used uh, and that really didn't have any parking spaces that were impacted by its location. Uh, we actually used the curb cut as an opportunity to have a large drive-through uh, bay within the garage that had a chain hoist uh, that allowed them to move large dock sections around inside the building which was a plus to the project. There's quite a bit of uh, ramifications when any kind of structure is located uh, in or adjacent to a flood zone. In this particular case, the, the first floor of this building had to be elevated a certain distance above the FEMA flood elevation. The building has a, is built on a uh, concrete slab. The soils in the area were very accommodating and very cost effective. Structurally, the building is, has uh, many components to accommodate the, uh, the code requirements. The building itself uh, is, is outfitted with uh, uh, high impact, hurricane resistant glass. So, uh, so the windows on this building will maintain their structural integrity uh, against uh, wind blown uh, flying debris during hurricane and other large storms. Another welcomed improvement in the building is a built-in restroom. Before, everyone had to walk 800 feet just to get to one. 
Now, a modern, handicap-accessible restroom is open to the public year-round. We had to tie in the existing bathroom facility located here into uh, the, the new uh, plumbing system for the, for the new uh, Harbor Master building as well as the new Harbor Master garage. Fortunately, the grades worked out uh, very close but worked out very well that we were able to accommodate uh, the flow from all three buildings with a gravity septic system. That's important because otherwise if we couldn't accommodate the gravity septic system we would have had to introduce uh, pump chambers and pumping which is much more costly and problematic. The last component that I can talk about today is that this is this entire facility is located in a very uh, environmentally sensitive area and that was a major component of our design. We could not introduce additional stormwater runoff flows into catch basins and down into the harbor so the outside components here especially uh, in the lawn and walkway areas are designed so that they capture stormwater runoff and percolate it directly into the ground. As you can see this building is outfitted with uh, uh, gutters to downspouts. The downspouts go into the ground that's because we have a pipe collection system beneath the ground and that water, that stormwater runoff from the roof is collected and directed to underground uh, leaching facilities, thereby stormwater from the roof, maybe slightly contaminated runoff uh, water, it prevents it from going directly into the harbor. A few of the important goals for permitting with conservation were to reduce the amount of impervious coverage um, within the buffer zone to the coastal bank and also provide improved stabilization of the existing coastal bank. These two items were accomplished by um, proposing walkways um, that met accessibility needs for the facility that are pervious. We also specified a variety of native plant species to enhance the stabilization of the bank. Sandwich Selectmen broke ground for the new headquarters on the sunsplash morning of September 29, 2015. Coastal Engineering provided technical support to the architect during construction, which lasted about a year. On November 18, 2016, the ribbon was cut for the beautiful new workspace. At the ceremony, local officials recognized the vision and dedication of everyone who contributed to the project. A bittersweet moment was dedicating a new conference room to the late former harbor master, David Weirty. He would be proud of how the project he championed turned out. We get comments every day, people walking into the building saying how nice this built what a great appearance this building has. Um, people are just literally coming in. This is beautiful. Can we see the inside? They want tours. When we first moved in, people would come in in groups looking for tours to see the building. And it has come together really well. So it is exciting to be part of that. Things are going really well. New Harbor Master is uh, doing a great job and the assistant harbor master. They uh, really take care of the uh, commercial fishermen. There's a lot of commercial docks and the facilities here are great for us commercial guys. So there's a lot of good reasons that this, this harbor is first class. We really depend on it and there's a lot of commercial fishermen that livelihoods depend on it. And as far as the, the town and the tourist, you know, it really is like a tourist attraction and they like to come down and see us unload fish and lobsters and it's really nice. It's kind of the way of life at Cape Cod. Now the building itself was a 20 to 30 year vision of our town officials. The location is just absolutely prime location. It gives you sort of a good snapshot of the entire marina and also the bay. It works for us for a lot of reasons, basically for efficiencies and for weather purposes and sort of keep an eye on what's going on. And with the the um, resiliency of the waterfront with the restaurants and the Coast Guard Station and the Army Corps Visitor Center, it's, it's just a perfect fit for everything. The other thing that's also a lot of people aren't aware of is the fact that this, the building itself and any of the building of the Harbor Master's Office did not come out of the sandwich tax base. It came out of the Enterprise Fund, which is basically as a result of the marinas, the monies that are built within the marina stay within the marina. One of the big questions we always get is, more slips, more slips. Why can't you dig more? Why can't you dig more? And uh, build more slips. Well, that's, that's easier said than done. There's a lot of environmental studies and it'll take a number of years even to get there. So one of the things that we're doing with coastal engineering is we're basically looking at an efficiency of the existing footprint and whether the docks could be out, laid out a lot better. And as we start to uh, work through the study and hoping that we'll have the study by the end of the year, 
maybe the docks can be laid out differently and that's what we're hoping that the study will, will be able to give us. As a company, we are proud to have been involved with the Sandwich Harbor Master Marina project. It is an important public works project in that it provides for public safety for both commercial and recreational boaters. It also supports the local economy. What this new facility represents for the marina's future is transformational. Coastal Engineering and Brown Lindquist Finuccio and Raber help improve marine infrastructure that supports fishing and tourism industries vital to Cape Cod's blue economy. They bring in-depth knowledge of building codes, permitting requirements, and construction process to deliver efficiency, longevity, and high quality. They think outside the box and come up with cutting-edge solutions to build reliable, beautiful, and highly functional facilities that balance economic progress with environmental protection.